come after capitalism is something that is going to be, I think, smaller, more local, and more democratic. I don't know what form it'll take. It's certainly, you know, uh, I mean, I, people can give different versions to it. I don't think it's going to be state socialism. I think that has been tried and um, and it has horrendous effects. Uh, I think whatever will come ne next will come organically out of how people respond to the situation. But I think it'll be. It has to be local. We're, we, we can no longer be a, a global economy in the way that we were. Climate change really has ensured that the decline of the, the, the um, non-renewable resources running out means that we're not going to have gas and fossil fuels the way we did before. And so we're going to have to learn to live simpler, smaller, more locally. Uh, and I think more them. And as soon as you do that, I think you become more democratic. So I don't. I think you know the visions of what will come afterwards. I, I think will come out of the out of the imaginations of uh, I think of young people actually. And I, I think that's the hope is that I think young people are, don't have models that they're following, uh, and which is you know one of the reasons that I think I, I was really excited by the Occupy movement is you know Occupy was when people said you know they have no idea what they want. Actually, they, they did, and a lot of ideas got what they wanted. But what was central to Occupy was it was a new way of doing politics. It was a new way of being in the world, it was a way of building community. Uh, Naomi Klein, uh, I saw her give an interview once about Occupy. She said, about the in, in Sakati Park. You know, um, and she said, um, you know, the great thing about Occupy is people come here, they come out to check it out for, like, you know, for an afternoon, and they just stay. And people stayed for days at a time because it was the first time they had seen a different way uh, in which you could organize something. It was on a small scale. Mm -hmm. They had this different vision. And I think that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to, if we are going to be saved. And I don't think there's any guarantee. There's no, you know, um, Karl Marx, you know, when he was writing, said, you know, the future of uh, the future is either barbarism or I call it socialism. I think it's either barbarism or community or civil, you know, or democracy in some way. And there's no guarantee where we'll end up. We may end up in you know, horrible, barbarous situations. Or we may end up in something that's different. I hope it's something that's different. It's going to depend upon the imagination uh, and passion of, of young people, especially. And I'm actually, I'm much more uh, optimistic uh, than I am pessimistic about that.